Good morning. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. It's David Steele. This is Red Thunder. And today we're going to be taking Red Thunder plus the Zmods Cummins ISX EGR. Quite a long name, but a, an engine I really enjoy. We're going to be leaving Vegas heading south over the I-93. Taking the Great Basin Highway. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a job. Um, Somewhere in Arizona, uh, so uh, probably not too long, but not going to keep everyone along for the ride. The main reason for this, this trip, I mean, one, it's a beautiful ride, and two, it seems to be constantly uphill. I've spent a lot of time over the weekend tuning the shift points and the engine and the torque curves. So we're going to see how well this, this particular engine does. This is the 500 horsepower version, uh, 1850 foot-pounds of torque. And I'm using a Eaton 16-speed transmission. This has a it's a direct drive, and it's a 2.39 rear end. So it's about the same overall gearing as a 13-speed, maybe slightly shorter. It's a bit of an odd transmission for me to use. I haven't used this one very much. It's not a transmission I would expect many people to use, which is precisely why I'm going to use it. But the more gears you have, the harder it is to fine tune the transmission and the engine, or the engine to work with the transmission. So, this, not a transmission I've tested with this engine so far. If it does okay, and by okay, I don't expect it to be perfect, I'm going to be happy with it. What I'm expecting the transmission to do is something I see from the 13 speeds and upwards. And that is the last typically two gears. You might go from 7 high to 8 high or 11 to 13 with the 13 speed. And that's because you have enough flexibility, enough of a rev range that you can reach a road speed in 11th gear that is happy to drive along in 13th. I expect something very similar with the 16 speed gearbox. There's a good chance that it might occasionally slip down from 16 to 14 and then jump straight back up if the transmission splits a gear you end up going from 16 to 15 it may not want to change back up to top and that's something that the 13 and 18 speed suffer from quite a bit there's not much i've found so far i can do to to completely resolve that but changing those shift points by just a small number of rpm can sometimes fix it and that's a good thing Here's the 93. That's great. So uh, we turn right here, and the uphill gradient starts pretty much immediately thanks to a, an on ramp that is up a hill. So uh, let's see how well this engine does in this, uh, this scenario so far. Yeah, there you go. So it's letting itself stretch over 1500 RPM. That's perfect. That's just what I want it to do. And then, of course, once you let off the power a little bit, it'll change up sooner. Speed limits at 55 so uh, we'll not be... we we'll could still use top gear at that speed. But yeah this is pretty much the start of, of the climb and it doesn't really let off until um, there's a way station and probably gonna use that to, to stop. Well I'm gonna shut up let's go ahead and uh, listen to what this engine and gearbox are doing. Okay, I was not quiet for long. I'm happy with that shift. Didn't need to use extra revs. The gradient is flattening off. I've uh, made the engine brake be a lot less aggressive when it shifts down. And back on a climb again. So see, we're starting this climb about 1,200 revs, a little bit less. 
See how 1850 foot pounds of torque copes. Very well. Okay. I think the road does flatten off a little bit. We've got over 38,000 pounds behind us and a gross vehicle weight of almost 80,000 pounds this morning. This is one of my favorite stretches of road in the entire game. Because you transition from this downhill section to flat and then starts to go uphill. I love to hear all the, the, the subtle changes in the engine note as we transition from down to flat to up. Of course it's the start of another climb. engine's coping very well with the climb as well. It's performing great. I mean, I was kind of hoping we'd get to watch the transmission shift down one or two gears, but we haven't had to. Let's just cope with it. We lost a little bit of speed, but just picked it right back up. So you see me there not read the road properly. Just contemplating going around the slow vehicle in front, but here we go. Well, we've reached the way station, which is where I'm going to stop this uh, this video. I got to say, this particular engine has done great. It's, it's plenty of torque, um, 500 horsepower is more than you kind of really need. Um, caveat for the game at this part. And its shift behavior has, has really been what I've been trying to get. So, as I say this, tentatively, this engine tune appears to be very, very close to... I can't get it any better. So, um, all that remains to be said is thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, see you in the next one. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Goodbye.